you need to think about who you're cooking for and what sort of things they like or, or what sort of dining experience that they want when they come to a venue. In regards to Mr Mason, it's quite corporate, so we sort of do a little bit more formal dining, so it's a little bit more refined. We can spend a little bit more time on the plate, you know, making it look pretty, so then it becomes art and creativity. When the seasons change, you need to change your menu, and once you've written your menu and you're confident that, you know, everything makes sense with what's on the plate and it marries well, then once that's out, you're always still thinking about what you can do to make the, either the dish better or you're thinking about the next season change. Oh, say menus in the 80s, menus were written, served with, drizzled with and lots of lingo and it would be say a paragraph but now it's quite modern and whether it be uh, refined food or shared or what sort of venue it is, it becomes descriptive so it's, it's lists of words. So say cauliflower, you'll let, it'll just say the word cauliflower. So cauliflower could mean anything and sometimes in a kitchen not everything works out and it's the same at home like if something doesn't work and we still say that word cauliflower the puree might not have worked out so we turn it into something else so it's still cauliflower on the plate but the interpretation is from here to, he to the plate is different.